Hello, my name is Ilona and in this video in my series Shadow Work I want to talk about blind spots and something I experienced this week so it's more of a personal thing I want to talk about maybe that will help other people and I really well sort of hit the wall of blind spots this past few days and a blind spot I think I've mentioned it before in a video on blind spots is like a pattern that you don't see yourself or you're you probably are aware that something's not right but you just can't put your finger on it you just don't know what's going on why am I acting this way or why is this happening why am I attracting this this person and uh, of course in my uh, consultations my readings I help other people showing them what's going on because I can be very objective it's not my pattern so for me it's very easy to see it with other people their patterns of course I uh, use the cards and I use of course my own uh, intuition and I can get a very, very clear picture very uh, very easily what's happening in another person's life uh, what's the blind spot they're not seeing so if you have the need or feel like you want to have a consultation with me, you can find everything on www.warekracht, so that's W-A-R-E-K-R-A-C-H-T dot N-L. And there's English in there, so it's Dutch and English. Or you can send me an email, warekracht, that is W-A-R-E-K-R-A-C-H-T uh, at Proton mail.com and there's also i also have these links in the description box uh, in the video so you can find it there as well and so it's very frustrating for me that i just there's there's still like a, a few parts in my life that i want to change there's certain parts in my life that i'm like why am i not changing there what's going on there why is it so difficult for me that i cannot see what's going on here right why can i not get a clear picture there very frustrating for me and uh this past few days were very interesting so i really want to talk about something i personally experienced to kind of show you how I spot my blind spots. Well, in this case, usually when you know something's not right or wrong, but you just can't figure it out, that's a blind spot. Uh, it's usually parents you don't want to see. Uh, I'm sure you've uh, seen family members or people you know that are in a relationship or in a friendship that's just not, not a good friendship, not a good relationship. And you can say this to this person and sometimes they're like agreeing with you, but they're not changing anything. That usually has to do with that they don't, they don't want to. There's something inside of themselves, like there are some old patterns that connects them to this situation as old energies they haven't dealt with. It's also possible that they truly don't see anything. Like, of course, we have a group of people that is not aware of what's going on around the world and doesn't want to see it. And it's very possible that they have all these blind spots and they, they truly don't see it. Sometimes you really point out something to someone and they're like looking at you like, what? what? Well, that's not how I act. And then you can say, well, you did this, you did this. And they're like completely baffled because they haven't seen it that way. And they may not even agree with that. Then there are the people that do know something's going on, but they don't, don't want to see because it's too much, too confronting for them or they'll have to change uh, their life. For instance, if they're in a certain relationship with someone and it's clear this relationship isn't good, but they really don't want to take the actions. It's too fearful for them. It's, it's too frustrating for them to get out of it, whatever it is. So they decide to stay. So there are many levels in blind spots. So you have people that really don't have a clue, that really uh, are not even looking at their blind spots. And of course, people who are more aware will understand if they want to change certain things in their lives. Like I, there are some things in my life I'd like to change in my personal life. And I'm like, why isn't that changing? What, what am I not seeing? What am I missing? And even for me then, that's frustrating and I'm hitting a wall. And past week, there was a, how do you say, a situation in my life that was very clear. I am also, um, how do you say this, experience physical changes, more cleaning of my, you know, my body's reacting to the energies. So I also had that going on. 
but uh, I placed, I think it's the beginning of my week, a cup of coffee in the wrong way. So my wall was covered with coffee stains and I tried to clean it, but of course my wall is very white and coffee stains is not helping. So on Thursday, I decided I'm going to do something about that. So I got, uh, it was raining, pouring here in the Netherlands all day long. So I was completely soaked, but I got paint because I wanted to do it at that day. I was like, I'm going to do this. I uh, pushed the couch, couch aside. You know, I uh, made sure plastic on the floor. I'm like, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to do this. So I got white paint and I'm trying to open the box. Didn't budge. So I just got frustrated and frustrated because I wanted to have the paint on my wall. So that should tell you something. So I was standing in my kitchen on the countertop at that box. I'm trying to open it up in all kinds of ways. And I got so frustrated. I picked it up and I just smashed it on the countertop and it opened <laughs> complete mess my countertop everything under the paint <laughs> so i had to clean that up first luckily it was water based but i still have this very vague white residue on my countertop but anyway i cleaned it up i had it's open so i finally had the paint so i'm like okay i'm gonna put this on the wall but it was kind of a I was already looking at it. Why is this going this way? Why didn't it just open up? Well, anyway, so I started painting and it was dark that day. It was a lot of rain. It just kept pouring. And I noticed like this isn't my white. I have a very white, it's like really white walls. And the paint, it happened, was another white. It was more of a egg of broken white, I believe you call it. Broken white. So now I'm stuck with a white wall with coffee stains and a paint that is a different color. And you do see that. So I was like, okay, I need to step back. What is going on here? What am I trying to do? And this is something that's very personal. Maybe you'll uh, recognize it, maybe not, of course. But I am a, quite an impatient person and I have this urge to figure things out. I want to be in the next step. I want to you know, work through my shadow. I want to do it. I want to do the work, but like with my body language, there's a force behind this. Why is there a force behind this? And this is really just very personal it's, it's certain parts in my life. So this to me, uh, what happened of course with the paint really showed me something like, what am I doing in certain areas of my life? I try to force things. Around the world, I have full trust. I just, I, I'm not even frightened or anything any, in any way. But I've noticed in certain areas in my life, I still have problems surrendering and just letting it be. I want to force things. I want to get it done. I want to work through this. And so I didn't even pay attention that I had the wrong paint. I was just, you know, and I couldn't even open the box that should have been a uh, signal to me like what's going on maybe if i look carefully i could have seen that it wasn't even the right paint or maybe i was like you know maybe this isn't the right time now to do that but anyway i have to say on um, friday i went back to the, sh the store got the right paint and it's all covered up now it's it's good now but it's very important for me to figure out in my blind spots that i have a tendency to 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 really push through things so there are certain areas in my life I try to force and this force comes from a fear that I'm missing out, that I'm not getting it done, especially in the family I'm, I've grown up. It's very important to uh, take action and uh, if you have a problem, you have to get a solution right away. And if you don't, yeah, that's your problem. You're missing out. You're not going to get there. So there's this urgency to deal with it immediately and I just kept hitting that wall the entire time on those certain areas and I couldn't feel anymore because I was pushing myself so much. I couldn't feel my intuition anymore and I was confused. And of course my body started reacting to that as well. It was really on my stomach. It's kind of like I couldn't digest it, so to speak. So these situations that I encounter in my life, I use this to like, okay, what is going on here? 
So I really need to take a step back and just let things be. And it was very interesting. I talked with a few people and I have some appointments just to open up things as well and to change perspective. I've got them coming week. But someone mentioned something and it's called the Gene Keys. It's from Richard Rott. I, of course, ordered immediately the book. Very interesting. It's a system he created, uh, which is at the I Ching and a lot of systems together. He, uh, uh, I think, channeled this. Or this is how he f it kind of came through to him in like a spiritual moment. And I thought it was very interesting because it's working with shadow sides as well. Of course, see if it resonates with you or not, because I, I just started reading this. There are some things that I'm not sure if I completely agree with, but there's a lot of interesting things like shadow uh, things you encounter, and it's based on your horoscope and not the way we're used, with, used to with astrology, but it's based on your date of birth, uh, your, uh, day, your time, your, uh, when you were born, the exact time, and your uh, birthplace. So you can actually fill it up, uh, fill it in, I think, in the gene, the gene keys, uh, dot com probably. You can look it up and then you can get like a free horoscope and it will tell you certain gene keys. And he sees everything as frequency. So you were born with a certain frequency and you have to work through your uh, shadow, that's your shadows that's connected to the gene keys. Uh, that is, of course, um, how do you say this, on uh, the basis of your date of birth, your time of birth. You have these keys that are important for you, for your life purpose, for your vocation, things like that. It's very, very interesting and it has a shadow side as well. And uh, to be very honest, I kind of looked through it. I still, I'm just starting and I have an appointment with someone to help me uh, work through my horoscope as well. I find this very interesting. Always see if it resonates with you. That's how I look at things. But one of the things that is very important to me, and I don't know the exact gene key, but I do know that it has to do with intuition. And the shadow, I think, is unease. And intuition, and this is very interesting, is trusting your intuition. Of course, I work with intuition, especially helping other people. But for myself, it is an issue to really feel what is important to me because I have blind spots. So I'm hitting that blind spot or that shadow side because blind spots have to do with your shadow work as well. That's something you don't see. And part of the, the shadow of the that has to do with your intuition is feeling uneasy and um, having a certain maturity. I was brought up in a family, like I've mentioned before, I had to do, you know, actions. If you want something, you have to have arguments. Like, you not arguments, uh, well, I think I do arguments. You have to have a correct reason why you're doing it. It has to be rational, practical. So intuition and feeling certain things in an intuitive way, uh, like when you don't even know why you're feeling that way, that's not, that's, I was brought up with, yeah, that's not relevant. So we're not going to look at that. So it still makes me very uneasy to fully trust on my intuition. So there's a blockage there, obviously. That's why I have problems to really connect with my intuition, because automatically I want to know. I want to know what's going on. I want to understand it. I want to have a rational uh, way of thinking so I can explain it to someone else. And ultimately... And that's part of the process as well. I don't have to explain anything, obviously, to other people, but that's still deeply instilled in me. Something other than another gene key that is apparently um, prevalent had the shadow greed. For that was very interesting. Um, I'm not completely sure which gene key it, it was connected to, but it was very. It's just very interesting to read. And I was talking to this person to make an appointment about this and I kind of mentioned it because when I was younger, uh, if I had some money that made me feel safe, but I'm not, money doesn't really interest me in that way. That's why, you know, those cryptos and the financial side of things, I don't really do card readings because it's, it's just not that interesting to me. I believe everything is going to be fine financially in the future. I'm not worried about that. And, uh, but it's interesting. And she's like, well, I noticed in our conversation that you're very eager to understand. So you're very greedy in getting information. And that's very true. 
I want to know. I, I, I want to read this entire book. I want to fully understand what's going on in that book. And that is in a way greedy as well, because that's that forcing again. It's very interesting. It is very uh, comparable to what I was talking about with the paint. I want to force it. I want to know it now. I want to have that paint. I want to have it on the wall. I want it all cleared. I want it. That's the information. I want to know my shadows. I want to know what I can do about it. I want to know how I work through it and just see like said, my, my physical, um, you know, look at my body language. I get in a way very excited, but this is a force. This is forced. And usually when there's a force, there's this urgency. And if I was very calm and just relaxed and just be at the moment, especially with spiritual things like shadow work, and uh, emotional things, it will open me up. How do you say that? It will open me up. It will give me space to work through it. And right now, if I'm in this urgency, I can fully understand that that is a form. It's like a more of a spiritual form of greed. I want it to know and I want to know it now. There is greed to it in a way. And that's very interesting. So with those shadow, you can grow in that as well. And you can have many ways of how you deal with that shadow. It doesn't mean in just a material way like greed, but it's also possible in a spiritual way that you're completely focused on your spiritual journey. Uh, what I've done for a long time. I just, I want to know, I want to know now. And I've noticed by just reading that and oh, the way, how she explained it. I'm like, yeah, you're right. I need to just be. <sighs> just be and that's what i've noticed this past week or the past few days very important for me to be and if something doesn't work out maybe i should just leave it for a little bit or maybe i should look at it later on maybe it isn't right for me right now and especially in the focus in this world with a lot of action the the masculine side has been emphasized like i've mentioned you need to have rational arguments you cannot say you don't feel a certain way or this uh, doesn't feel right to you according to your intuition we need to balance that of course we don't need to go completely the other way with all these emotional weaponization like i feel offended so you have to adjust your way of thinking towards what i'm feeling because otherwise it's not right that's not what i'm talking about it has to be balanced we have to be more in a how to say that more openness more b that's a part of that and that's a gene key as well for me it's very important to uh, feel when something is right so sometimes it's i'm like i said i'm not completely into those gene keys yet i find it very interesting but i've just started reading this and that i have to create a certain lightness in my uh, life and that I have to wait until it comes from the inside if I want to start something, if I really want to put something into action and that I shouldn't, uh, especially in this world where everything has to be now, it has to be solved, you have to take action, that it's very important to just be. And I think we need to balance it. Being and taking action. That's that m male masculine energy and that female energy energy like uh, the first feel and see if it feels right to you to take action and then you take action that is way more powerful than forcing yourself yourself like i have noticed the past few days but i've also noticed that i'm uh, really talking for quite some time now uh, i will leave the description and the name in uh, underneath this uh, video and i hope to see you in another video bye